The tourist season is coming to an end in Budapest and the images of the refugee crisis has left its mark on the city and its effort to attract tourists. The Hungarian tourist industry has had a good year, but when the refugee crisis arose, the businesses held its breath. Uh, firstly, at the, at the beginning of September, there were uh, quite a few questions from, uh, from tourists uh, from abroad, uh, and there were also some cancellations, both FITs and, and, and groups. Uh, so they, I think, partly because of the pictures, partly because of the headlines and images from the, from the international media, the refugees are gone from Kalati station and little is left to remind the travelers of the horrific scenes that took place here. But there are still concerns among the visiting tourists. I saw the pictures and I read about and um, I think um, that um, Europe uh, is, is not doing um, enough for the refugees. I think um, they could be much more because um, they need... Uh, more security. Well, what to say about it? Uh, I think it's the first time they're confronted with a problem like that, so you can't blame them for not handling it uh, uh, maybe the proper way, but yet they're trying. The Hungarian tourist industry is not only battling the refugee crisis. The number of tourists are increasing by 10% a year, but they shop, eat and stay cheap. Uh, yeah, there's really an increase in the numbers, but uh, there's uh, the, it's, uh, there's uh, the purchasing power is more or less on the on, on the same level, or sometimes there's a there's a decrease. Budapest is still to attract the big spender tourists. Maybe we would have to find out some new attraction regarding Hungary. So the the, the marketing and the country marketing uh, it's it's very very important. Nicholas Brunel for the Mojo Challenge 2015.